in our lands. Hopefully we'll win this battle and uh, we can move on to conquering more of that land because that's what we're going for of course. Also I have to sack a lot of settlements for my victory condition. So I don't know if it's a good tactic financially, but um, I'm sacking and then conquering. Uh, I know that does a lot, lot of damage, but I have to do it for my victory condition. So I do not get a lot of choice in that. My tech is going great. I've got all the military tech that I require. Um, so I'm done with the military tree. And I'm currently researching the only economic line I don't have yet which is um, um, industrial for the industry. That's the current technology line that I'm researching. Um, I would say yes, but that's because I've got two complete... No, wait, it's actually balanced because I've got two completed military tech trees and two completed economic tech trees. So only one military tech tree and one economic tech tree remain not completed. Okay, so we have to run because they've got siege weapons once again, which sucks. <clears throat> uh, the siege tech tree from the military tech tree is the one I don't have yet, and from the economic tech tree, it is the one that governs industrial buildings, which is the one I'm researching right now. Because I don't really see the need for uh, the siege tree. I have no idea why that would be useful at all. Ancestors, order us! For the mother! into shooting range here. Our horses love blood. Riders into wedge. Slingers. Might want to move Warriors. a bit forward. Don't have loose formation, okay. So we can shoot against everyone. And then the lines just charge in. Okay, good to know that I'm right. That I at least do something right. You know? Okay, so they'll probably send their melee forward, so we'll be charging them. Spears against the catapult troop. Okay. Wait, they do have their artillery? there so we can charge the scorpion and get that out of the field keep on charging keep on charging keep on rolling up that line charge Improve your charge and charge. Wedge formation and improve charge. This is gonna hurt. There we go. There go the scorpions. Out of the field.
what are they? They are mercenary light horse. What are we? We are heavy men. So we can easily just take care of them, right? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, thank you, thank you. Charge! It's just that I'm interested in realm building. Yeah, I, I like both as aspects. I definitely like both aspects. Advance at speed! Okay, so they just got wrecked. So now we'll kill these guys here. Wow, none of these guys dead. Holy shit. Clean up a few groups and none of them is dead yet. That's pretty cool. Losing every battle late game. Oh man, we should team up, man. You do the city building and I'll do the battle. Mountain warriors! We would make a great team like that. If only they had the same game mode, game mode as in Rise of Nations. Which was a great game, by the way. Strategy game where you could uh, one of our units has used all its ammunition. Play as the same same faction. Um, you could play multiplayer as the same faction, and then um, one person could do the uh, could do the cities and stuff, and then the other could do the battles and stuff, which was a really cool. I did that a lot with uh, Bookfish. Um, she building up my settlement, and I'm doing the battles. Battles. Okay, so this army is fairly weak. Dead. My steps. Uh, yeah, they still have a few units, but that's just. Ready. Well, we could just kill them. Why not, right? There we go. <laughs> we would always quarrel about the budget. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Alright, so they are gone. Um, could we move back to Genoa? We can. That is cool. Because here are two people coming up. Okay, so yeah, I'm only minus 500 now. In spending. That's cool. Yeah, it's this city. It just has all military buildings. Look at this. Crap. But, oh well. Um... Yeah. Warriors all. I live to see You're also the waiting. Cool. Let's wait a turn and see what happens with the uh, finance if we wait a turn. Oh man, that's a good one. That second upgrade? Wow, that's pretty good. <clears throat> the dynasty's influence, I didn't... No, I, I have no idea how the political system works uh, in Attila. I have just no idea. I know you have to keep the loyalty high and that's about it. <laughs> So all I do with my political influence there is trying to keep the loyalty high of my general. Okay, so I don't know why they've got such a good battle score against us. Uh, but, yeah. Bring it on. Hey Ramirez, what's up? Yeah, this is uh, end game, pretty much. We've almost completed the objective. Wait, is this an ambush? No, it's not an ambush. Why is the battle score so high? Because our units are so low on health? Probably. Yeah, but I don't know the balances as to what wolf. That's the thing. 
with this game, with Rome, you have two screens, right? You have faction A, faction B. There you go. With Attila, you have your family tree, and then there are guys here, and then there's another screen here, and then there's... I, I, I don't know how it all interacts with each other, and, and like, it's, it's really... I just have to read something on it to make sure that I know, okay, this is how it interacts. Because it doesn't say other family or something, so I have no clue which family I'm fighting for and fighting against. Okay, so these are our healthy troops. They will be forming our first line of defense, obviously. Because they don't, they don't build food buildings, really. That is interesting. Hey, where I put ya? To, uh, to know. Ready for battle. Don't break okay, formation, so are folks. Are our strength. Don't break formation. Crappy guys. And then there is these guys. We can land somewhere on the beach. Hopefully here somewhere. It is our task to defend these walls. Forget all that has gone before. This is all that matters now. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Right, slice and be all right. these invaders. The bottom three people is a constable of Newgate's problem. The people on the left. You previously picked from this pool. Okay. Yeah. Barbers! Move it! I got that, yeah. Our hidden units have been discovered. have been discovered. You guys can go here. And you guys. The men are wavering. Let's get it with you guys. No, nope, you. Let's get it with you. Don't go there. Okay, so that's so people on the left are the other family that you are basically fighting against. The enemy so, general you know, is dead. Talk about uh, fighting on a political level. Slingers and 
ancestors honor us! And then the family tree is the ones you control, basically, you play it. So it is basically your family tree versus versus uh, all the people on the left hand side. Okay. Oh no, you're not pointing. We have yeah. discovered the enemy's hidden units. No problem, Ramirez. Thanks for dropping by, man. You can't. You can't. Because you've got real heart. <laughs> oh, there. The guys from the ships, of course. Alright. Shield wall. Protect as long as possible. What are these? Oh. these guys. Especially if you have a system that you don't completely understand that yet, and that's what's causing you trouble, then you can't really see how you can fix that. Oh shit. You have catapults, they have catapults. That is not good. to assassinate someone. Okay, there are range units, cool. Bring out the monsters. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Bring out the horses. Okay, they're all going inside the city, cool. Bring out the horses on this side. There are three armies attacking me there, yeah, three somewhat smaller armies. Yep, I'm doing just that. There. 
Our general is under attack. General can solve that catapult problem. Veteran riders. Eight and one. Okay. Not easy to assassinate non-Hamley members. <clears throat> I have not yet tried the assassination, so... Suicidal charge. I guess it's more difficult than in Crusader Kings. Veteran riders! Okay, so we're actually doing pretty good. We are actually doing pretty good. I have to say. Ancestors! Okay, there we go. Warriors no Time to flank. Okay, yeah, the general's taking care of the cannibal. Britain! Oh. Britain! Time to charge the uh Our horses love the horses. This line is all that is held out really good. Really well. I'm really impressed. I mean yeah sure they're all close to death, but <laughs> Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I see what you mean. Uh oh, did they break through the lines? We'll kill them all. Close the lines. Are we just in time with the uh, counter charge from the rear? Yeah, just flee the field of battle. This Ooh. is a shameful display. Great battle, great battle. Nice defense, guys. Nice defense. GG. Flirt my non members in general. Likes the Romans. Oh man. A close victory, yes! You call that a close victory? I actually learned how to flank in my first Total War streams. <laughs> someone, someone just hammered that flanking in into me. Taking all captives. Bye. Yep, three small stacks. I don't know why, but. They attack me with three small stacks. Close enough victory, yeah. Pretty much. <clears throat> but good is good enough. What do you mean how many more I need? It's all other chiefs, unfortunately. Yeah, three armies. That's I think that's what I said. Okay, so they are sacked, so we can now move in to conquer them. We take this settlement for the tribe! Oh god, this agent is keeping us. Damn it. I live to serve. I don't think you guys can nope. nope. We need some public order in here. 
some reason there's no public order. Not enough public order. Um, okay, well... Oh! Does this give public order? Plus six! Hell yeah! Okay, we'll wait there then. How many more settlements? Uh, I need to raise and sack. I need 10 settlements conquered and I need a lot of raise and sack. Uh, to raise and sack a lot of settlements. So what I'm doing now is just attacking, then winning, then raising and sacking the settlement or just sacking and then coming back and conquering. That's my tactic right now. Ready for orders. Like so. Like exactly what I did there. Oh, Tolosa. Uh, there you go. Some growth. And we're back in the plot, so that's good. Oh, we need to convert this. Um. So we've got that side pretty much cleaned out. This side, it's just to the south now. Which this army can provide once... Oh, wait, you're already going, yeah. So just this side now, these two. But yeah, as you can see in the victory screen, we need to sack or raise 25 more settlements. We, we only need to conquer seven more. Um, so the Federation won't do it. The Celt-Iberian Federation. So we still need a target for war. Uh, which is going to be a big empire. Uh, there's just no, no doubt about it. Ready for orders. So yeah, there's that. You just chill. They'll die from starvation or disease. Whatever. So even when we do uh, destroy these Celt Iberians, we still uh, still need a wall with a big faction <laughs> because we need those settlements sacked and we need more conquests as well. Vivic. Oh god, all the rewards. All the rewards are suddenly pouring into our treasury. Ready for we take this for the drive. For the drive. Lay siege to their hovels. Fight twice, but got them conquered. Once again, will be. I don't know if I need this, but. There you go, repaired. We've already arched. Conquer that one. As you can see, some buildings are still. Or one building is still broken from our conquest. Oh, we need to wait on some public order there. What we can do is move with this army. Oh, it's plus zero. zero. Yeah. Too much public order troubles to move about. To move about. Um. Come on, 
game. Let me select this. So we'll be changing out, changing out this one. We cannot change out that one. That kind of sucks. Uh, so yeah, we're moving closer to victory, but still, we need five more settlements. So we'll need three settlements and also raise and sack 24 more. 22 after we have we are done with the uh, Celtic variants. So there's lots more to do, even though we are on the right For way. The well. tribe. I, you have Ooh, you can take the public order. Cool. And you're the designated army. For the next conquest. Sure. Take your time to build up Spain. Uh, I will. I will take my time to build up Spain. Uh, for now it's just like put everything there to get the um, to get the public order going but I will once the conquests are done and the realm has returned to a peaceful state I will review what I've built there and then um, Revisit that and build what I need to build. So it will make me shitloads of money because once we're done with the Spaniards, as previously mentioned, we need to attack either the Seleucids or Pontus because we need more uh, we need more race sacking and also a few more settlements. And they are allied, so. It will be a Pontus and Seleucid fight, um, attacking these two big empires um, at the same time. Can't can't do it otherwise. I mean, be I can't welcome. ask them for a military alliance. If I can they give you a fair won't. answer, yeah. you will have it. So, because they're only twenty-eight friendly. So yeah, um, we will have to fight an alliance between two big. Empires, which is just yeah, it's gonna suck. <laughs> I think. Uh, so if you have any opinions on what to build in Spain, uh, once you know it's all settled down and stuff, I uh, I don't mind any. Advice, as usual. All the rewards gave us quite a nice treasury to work with, but we just need so much more to actually engage the Seleucids in battle and Pontus at the same time. How about building the cheap package holidays to Spain's always good salad? Yeah, if tourism was a factor in this game, because it was back in those days. People don't don't think people had the time and stuff to travel, but actually in the Roman Empire, tourism was a booming business. Um, which is often forgotten. Food resource exploit. And cultural conversion. Alright. Thirsty oh, for battle. Your next command? Minus five. I want hourly patrols. Alright, get this one going as well. So we can already take this one to the next level. Minus three in Kartuba. There's Kartuba, there's Kartuba. I can take the minus three. I can also take the minus six. I can take the public order. I take, can take the food because Yeah, let's just build on Kartuba. The 
Here we go. Kartuba is going to be uh, a big one. From Maritime Commerce. Cultural influence. From industry. Uh, so food and resource, right? Culture conversion, food and resource exploits. So if we convert this to a farm, this to build some more farms, so food is more of a thing. There. At Numantia. The silicon. Numantia, um, I would walk to the other world for my tribe. Yeah, I think we've got a few more spaces for farms and stuff, so the food won't be a problem. They've had spas all over the place, but yeah. <clears throat> that was definitely one of the more famous ways to spend your holiday. Spend your holiday now. In Spain. Oh god, here comes Pontus. I leave the Aedatani to cleaning up the uh, other armies. that I can't um, convert that settlement. Is that? No, it's just public. Okay, never mind. The Western Mediterranean Islands. Well, I've got all, if not most of them, so. Oh, this is definitely industry built. Right, plus 14. Can you handle it? Is that all? Nope. Not yet. Plus 3, plus 2, plus 4. Hail to the mother. How can I help? We cannot do that. Alright, so you guys. Go and attack this one. That will have to wait for a bit until it can handle it all. And then we'll have to wait until the happiness is here. <clears throat> and we can move. You can check France, Belgium, Britain, culture and religion could be haunted already. I think with Britain, yeah, culture should be 100. Oh man, it's full industry here, look at this. And this is full farming. <laughs> fully farming focused. Fully farming focused. Keeps on coming, yep. I know, right?
we'll see well, how Spain ranks uh, in terms of profits after we're done uh, after we're done with this province. Let's just focus on the conquest first and then see how we can maximize the realm's profits because we need to we need to because there are two big empires in alliance. There is a time when warriors Yeah, I've already uh, did a full economic uh, revision of my uh, current lands, Hendrik. Which included Britain and France and all that sort of stuff. Ah, oh, no champion. Oh, plus 20. Can you now move? Minus two for two turns. You can take that. Take this. Take it. Sack it. Take it again. Conquer it. That's just gonna be the tactic. Ready for orders. Boom. Conquer. Alright, so I'll need to repair first, of course. Ooh, a high-end fishery and a mineral spring. Okay, we'll change that. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, it was you. <laughs> there you go. So, taking this one. Celt Iberians have been conquered. Um, and as you can see, we still need to take three more settlements and we need to sack or raise uh, 22 more settlements. So, yeah, quite a bit of victory still to go. And as you can see, that victory needs to come from attacking Pontus and the Seleucids. So, we need to. Uh, engage in the strong empires which means we need time to build up our uh, I'm good against Pontus but they're not good against the Seleucids apparently so yeah we need time to build up our economy so we can build up our forces so we can engage the Seleucids because that's what it comes down to so let's give a turn to let everything demolish slash uh, upgrade to the right level. There you go, extra public order. <laughs> now your food is always in the green, that's good to know. But I just need more money because I need... No, I already have the maximum amount of army. Which sucks. Because the Seleucids are still more powerful than us. So that's a problem. Okay, so we'll demolish that one. Uh, let's get another farm going. You said farms were the best thing here? So this shouldn't be a military center because Spain is all the way in the back end of the country. So we can just demolish the 
military buildings. Yeah, place farms and stuff there. Just don't need military buildings in the back end of our empire. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah. Oh, Flophole, welcome to the Prophets. Thanks so much for the follow. And thanks so much for supporting the stream. Thank you for finding it awesome enough to support. Okay, so. Let's keep our armies here, uh, just for the restructuring of the entire thing. So that the happiness won't, you know won't die out too much. Oh, these guys are raining. So we kill them. <laughs> yeah, love the name as well. I live get through it, man. Cool. And then they are raining as well. They are slowly dying, so that's cool. Yeah, let's wait a turn until all the military buildings here are gone. There will be more farms, so... We'll need wealth from farms. Which is wealth well, from all sources. Mists of doom. Doom! Scan. <laughs> Making something up is nothing to be scared about. Oh, that is something to be scared about. An entire fleet of Seleucids. This is definitely a problem. Oh, a move of desperation, guys. Well, more prisoners, more economy. More I lose too much money by upkeep. Yeah, that sucks. Trying to balance that is indeed uh, a tricky one. Oh shit. I forgot to build something here. Alright. We'll build something in Messidia as well. Money is just a pfft. Of course! Money is just a figure. I'm not worried about money. Okay, so farming. Hendrix said food, so food it is. This is the food, the food building that gives the most money, so there we go. Do we have something that gives wealth from agriculture? There we go. Resource. Ours is a resource, but it's not fun to explain it. Okay. Boom. 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 Provinces, yeah, coming up. Um, just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, this is a farmstead iron workshop. Can't change it. Okay. That's fine. Boom! Farms, food. Okay. Uh, province list. It was here somewhere. Province list. 
The most money is made by Italia. Lots of industry there. Oh, I can even upgrade. Doing. Boom. Get me more industry stuff. So the army composition is still making money, yeah. Alright. Public order industry, but the public order is a bit crap. Um, also industry, but these are the buildings I can't really upgrade. Also industry. Britannia. Also industry. But upgrading these buildings really doesn't do much. From all commerce. Or from all agriculture. Hey! It gives wealth from agriculture. Wait, no. This doesn't have... Where does that upgrade from? Oh. This can be made in Eidolon for the wealth from all agriculture stuff? No. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Lots of industry as well. Um, 17. Minus 2. Minus 4. Why not? Okay. Oh. Oh. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? Sorry about that. Carthagenesis. Okay, yeah. Africa. Ooh, Garthage can expand. Maybe it's not farm, because it's, you know, based on farming. Uh, Pannonia. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't even see what the... Oh, 27, that's fine. Pannonia, uh, lots of industry, lots of commerce as well there. Magna Germania. Yeah, they're still building up. Ooh, lots of farming here. Can you turn into a... Yep. Agricultural stuff. That's cool. Um, lots of agricultural here, but not really. It has this agricultural bonus. But it doesn't really, it does more industry. So, I should change that. Well generated by... Wait, this is industry, right? Well generated by industry. Um... You also do two public order per turn, but we don't need that. So, Burgidala. Gallic. It is wealth by industry. Why don't you just do this? Two minus four, that's minus six. Can take it. Um, all my provinces are making some money, yeah. That is true. Yeah, okay. So just next turn, Burgadala. And also, I'll leave that skill for next turn. Burgadala and uh, um, the where the slums are. You're missing one or two financial powerhouses.
so you are increased, that's fine. Yay, happy days, okay. So, they need to construct something, otherwise slums will take over again. Wait, I'm all the way wrong side of the... There you go. You will... You have a lot of industry. So... You will. I still build more industry. That's fine. And also... Burgundala. You have... Oh, it's a mixed one. Well, since we already have enough food, just kill the industry. There we go. Enemy provinces down the list. One is making 6,000 gold. Syria? Oh my god. 6,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. He just has a 3,000, like, general stuff. While well, well, mine don't even come close. Holy Jeebus. How the hell do you get 6,000? And a 3,000 on average. That's just insane. I mean, I'm still constructing here, but two more turns becomes until this becomes, uh, you know, reality. And one more turn for all these farms. Um. But holy damn, six thousand. Yeah, most of it is on two turns. Someone had a skill to upgrade. Thank you. Who the enemy beat you to inventing the package holiday? I think so, yeah. That, that has to be the explanation. The holiday package, man. This gotta be it. No, you can, Bookfish. I don't want any spoilers. Alright. 1200. Numantia, Carthage, Kunisht, blah, blah, blah. Lots of level 1. There goes the Celt Iberians. Lots of level 1 stuff. But we can't upgrade because we don't have the money. Because we're still, uh, you know, investing in a lot of economic buildings and stuff. So. I assume they'll only start making money when uh, when they're actually done. So that means we wait. We need to wait another turn. But that is for the next part, ladies and gentlemen. It is once again um, the top of the hour. Top of the hour. Um, every top of the hour I take three to four minutes of break and then I shall be streaming for another hour uh, it's to cut up for the YouTubes and to give you guys a chance stretch your legs go to the toilet or to take a drink whatever it is you need to do so I will be back in three to four minutes and then we shall continue with this um, economic restructuring once again uh, and yeah We'll sh we shall discuss what we do about seeing about getting uh, the other settlements going. So I'll see you guys in three to four minutes.